Hello and welcome to this video. Now I thought I'd make this video because things are changing so ridiculously quickly that things have changed even since two days ago when I started talking about Codex. In my opinion, Codex has already got worse, like it's it's performing significantly worse than it was when I first started making videos about it. And Claude Code has actually improved. So I wanted to show you guys that in this video. So I'm going to generate two service-based websites and we're going to compare them and we're going to see which one struggles, etc, etc. Okay, so I'm going to make two different files here. So let's just do MKD grow, uh, not grow, um, Claude versus Codex with a three, CD Claude versus Codex with a three. And then we've got Claude versus Codex open right here. So let's use Kilo Code for this because I think Kilo Code is going to be the best one. Now, I don't like to use the CLI, that's why I'm using Kilo Code. So let's just go to my school community. If you're interested in joining the school community, it'll be one of the links in the description. There's plenty of content on there for you guys to learn about how to do certain things. Let's go to my classrooms, all my prompts and workflows, and then we're just going to grab the basic prompt from each one. And we're going to put this in Kilo Code, uh, make sure that we're on... Oh, no, sorry, we're using Codex, obviously, not Kilo Code. My bad, guys. Um, now, I had, did have a theory that the problem might be GPT-5 Codex and not uh, GPT-5. So I did think... I think I'm going to go with GPT-5 Codex, just because that's actually what I want to test. But I might have to do another video where I also test um, GPT-5, the normal model, because it might be something to do with GPT-5 Codex, I'm not sure. Okay, so we'll send the prompt here and we'll send the prompt here. Now, I haven't actually done this with Claude Code in an extremely long time. Let me just, just do Claude dangerously skip permissions dash C. Okay. Uh, continue. So we'll see how these both build. We'll see, see you know, what happens, etc, etc. So there's currently nothing in any of either of these directories. I'm going to be alt tabbing quite a lot. Actually, I might put them side by side to be to be honest with you. Um, I want to be able to see both at the same time. I think that'd probably be better. So let's do that now. Let's just open uh, this one and make it small like that. And then do that. Okay, there we go. So let's kind of see how they both do while I uh, fish on RuneScape, because obviously, guys, no XP waste. You can't be XP wasting, guys. Come on. Okay, so let's see. It has not managed to create an app yet. Um, Codex hasn't, sorry, I should say. Okay, so it looks like Claw Code was actually able to create it first, and we have a stream disconnect error on Codex. My theory is correct, guys. I, I, I swear what happens is, and I've seen this with Claude as well, they release a new model, and it's really, really good, right? And then you get stream errors sometimes, right? And the worst thing for a company is being down, right? If you get a reputation as a company that's always down, people will stop using you. So you get stream errors, right? Because that's like an error response thing that they've coded into it and then once you start getting stream errors they say oh we're using too much power we need to reduce the the strength or whatever of the model i don't know exactly how it works and then the quality of the model goes down i've seen this so many times like as soon as you start seeing streaming errors i swear you start having problems so let's see what actually happens here uh this is probably going to take quite a long time i've got a lot of fishing to do uh on the old runescape Okay, so Claude Code is done. Let's just see here. Should be localhost 3000, so it should be here. Pretty basic, not gonna lie. Really not that good at all. Um, you know, it's funny. I really don't know what's going on here. I, I, can't, I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what's happening. It seems to be different every day, or maybe it's the task or... Okay, so it's very, very well made in the sense that there are no mistakes here. Every single page has been generated that I asked for. This, the UI UX is really, really bad, I have to say. Really don't like it at all. So I don't know what they did there, but they seem to have just removed... I guess UI UX was never really Claude's strong point anyway. It built it incredibly quickly, though. I think Claude is really, really good for, like, quick builds with good prompts. I think that's probably one of its best um, use cases. 
Overall, I'm not I'm not overly impressed with this at all. I was expecting this to be much better. Um, but I mean, technically, it's brilliant. There don't seem to be any mistakes here whatsoever. The SEO has all been done, as you can see here. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, the build itself technically is perfect. Aesthetically, it's terrible. Um, I'm not going to be around the bush. It's really, really bad. So maybe we combine them both and we see what happens then. Like we get Codex to do the design and then Claude to do the build. Let's see how Codex is doing. So yeah, now things are even more complicated than I thought because uh, Claude Code did a very, very bad job, but technically did a very, very good job. Like, technically. So one thing I've always said with Claude Code, and I, I, will, I will die on this hill, is that it's extremely good at, like fulfilling your predefined workflows if you actually look on my github i have a very interesting project which i don't think has got enough attention to be honest with you um <clears throat> where is it this one here Word no wordpress cloud code wizard yeah this one here so basically what this is is it you can download this right now on github and you can just press you can just write to, uh, on cloud code make me a you know make me a whatever uh Make me a WordPress directory, and it will make you one. Right, let me just, let me just show you this because I think this is this this always blows my mind how good this is. And yeah, it really didn't receive that much attention. I was actually surprised. So I can do git clone this, and then example for video two, cd example for video two. Then if I write Claude here, a couple of things that you'll notice straight away is that there is a already a mcp installed and i can say yes proceed so if you slash mcp you'll see that there's an mcp but also and i've just realized i'm not fishing anymore if i write slash memory let's use a memory um go back oh so this is the project memory why did they change this it was fine as a notepad why <laughs> I hate editing things on things like this. Can you do control A? Oh, you can, okay, that's good. So yeah, this is the entire predefined workflow for this particular project, right? So if I just, how do I, I don't like, how do I get out of this? <laughs> Why do they do this? It was fine as a notepad. Okay, whatever. So we can say, for example, I just need a Gina API key to show this. Gina.ai. Should have some refresh tokens here. Let's have a look. Yeah. And we can say, use this Gina API key. Make me a directory about um, Californian therapists. Right? So now I can just sit back and it will create that entire website for me because it's very very good cloud code is extremely good at following predefined workflows what i find with codex is that it's much better at um understanding what you want from simpler prompts and just giving you exactly what you need right but for example, you wouldn't be able to do something like this with uh, Codex very easily because it would just say, oh, I can't, I can't do that. I'm not allowed to access the internet, even though it is allowed to access the internet. So yeah, it's an interesting balance. I'm not going to lie. It's a very, very interesting balance between these two. Okay, so surprise, guys. I also did GLM 4.5 because everyone and their grandma has been telling me to test this model. People are saying they use it instead of Claude code. So let's see, npm install, npm run dev. Now I'm not giving anything, any, um, what's it called? Any leeway here. Okay. So GLM didn't even edit the homepage. The homepage is still just the vanilla. No, what's it called? Uh, yeah, vanilla SGS page. Okay. So we do actually have a web. Wow. What the fuck? The UI UX here is absolutely crazy. What the hell? Wow, this is the open source model, by the way, guys. I think it's open source anyway. Uh, wow, this has done a phenomenal job. Look at that SVG in the background as well. Beautiful. 
really nice um, UI UX. There are some issues with it, um, but I mean, that's pretty standard. Hasn't fully built the website either. This is a good attempt, honestly, but like, if you're using this instead of Claude Code, please just leave a comment below and explain how, because like, for me, this is just not up to scratch at all. Let's see if this works. No, there's still some problems here. So yeah, there's a lot of errors here. There's a lot of problems. The UI UX is really, really good, but like, I wouldn't personally look at replacing uh, Claude Code with GLM just yet, guys. It definitely doesn't have the same technical knowledge. But I am, I'm very impressed with the UI UX. I think this would not, I mean, that SVG is better than any SVG I've ever seen from an AI. So there's definitely something here. Let me just save this image as. I guess it's an SVG that was created, right? Looks like it, yep. Wow, so, I mean, that is a 10 out of 10 for those SVGs. So that might be a use case for GLM specifically. Um, but yeah, just the technical build here is, is not as good as, um, you know, something that we would really expect. So let's just go IT here. It doesn't even work anymore. So it's broken it even further. Beautiful. I would probably say though, if you don't want to pay for Codex, this might be pretty good to replace um, Codex in your UI UX design. Now Codex, amazingly, is still going. It's literally, I don't know how long it's been. How long have we, I've been logged in 25 minutes here, but I think I logged out a couple of times on the old RuneScape while making this video. So it's still running, which is completely insane. I'm, I'm just gonna have a little peek and see how it's looking. So let's just open it up here. Let's see. Okay, so it's currently not running. That's fine. It hasn't technically finished just yet, so we will let it finish. Okay, so it has finished. And I mean, this looks really... Okay, what the fuck? That looks pretty mad, I'm not going to lie. Um, This has been a very interesting experiment, I have to say. Oh, we just lost the... Uh... Stay there, let's see. Open and dev. See if we can get it open again. Okay. So this is definitely the best UI UX by far. Um it's also probably the most complete one. It's got a lot of good stuff here. It's got a it's probably got the best um it's probably not the best technical build. I'd say Claude was the best technical build. I think it might be best to mix the two together. I'm going to have to have a look at that and see how, that I, can, how I can incorporate that into my workflow. Um, this is really nice. Look at that. That's just super, super nice. Wow. I think these could be a bit better. It hasn't done a great job with the individual pages. Looks like, and it has generated all of those pages. Let's see. Yeah, Ariano Irpino, which is a place. So, Cumpliani, birthdays. Luxury birthdays with Rolls Royce Ghost in Campania. So, the SEO has it's done a phenomenal job with the SEO. This is very, very interesting, guys. Honestly, this, this entire test is super interesting to me. So let's just have another quick look at the GLM one. Did it do it properly this time? It did not. So GLM is having problems with technical stuff, but it does a decent job. It's like GLM is in the middle of both of them, to be honest with you. I wouldn't use GLM on my own, personally. Uh, I know that a lot of people have told me to look at it. I have to say, those SVGs are clean. So you could do... Oh my God, this is it. This is my conclusion from this, guys, okay? So technical, use or technical, use Claude Code um, slash Codex. UI UX, use Claude Code. And then you could do SVGs, which is a really important part of this process, using GLM 4.5. I think this might be the workflow, guys. I'm going to test this out in a video. I'll, do, I'll make a workflow where all of these are usable at the same time. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. That was a very interesting one for me personally. I have to say, GLM has impressed me with its SVGs, but not much else. Like, I'm not that bothered about SVGs. It's not that important. But, Claude, uh, oh, wait, this should say Codex. But, yeah, um, Claude Code's ability to do technical stuff is, I think, unmatched. 
like you can see it just built the entire project very quickly. What I think is happening a lot of times is that because Claude has a 200,000 context window and OpenAI has, or ChatGPT5 has a 1 million context window, Claude code is trying to fit into a smaller box because it has to finish the entire run of the project in one prompt. That's kind of the idea behind this. So when you have a higher context window, it's not as worried about finishing within that context window and therefore can make something better. I think I'll leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.